What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home strength work for Monday, July 12th. Four sets of a hinge complex supersetting with four sets of a core complex. Hinge complex today is 10 split stance RDL per leg, 10 RDL, and then 10 deadlift. Uh, so going about as heavy as we can on this uh, complex so that when we get to that last deadlift, it's about the last rep that we have before technical breakdown. So if you want to use two dumbbells of the same weight for this, you can. Or if you have limited options and you have to use one dumbbell, then just hold one head in each hand as you execute these movements. On those split stance RDLs, stand tall, hip width stance. If you've got two, you're just going to keep that grip neutral. And then you'll drop one toe back about six inches behind that front foot. And there's really going to be no weight on this toe. It's just here for a little bit of balance. All that weight stays on that front leg, soft bend in the knee, and then we freeze the knee. So no extra knee bend, pushing those hips back, making that hinge happen at that hip joint so that you feel that hamstring of that front leg load up. Once again, no weight on this back toe. So down here in this bottom position, you should actually be able to lift that toe for a moment if you had to. So to make sure that you're keeping all that weight on that front leg. You'll go right from 10 on one side, into 10 on the other side. Don't forget about pulling those shoulders back so that we keep a tight upper back. Then you'll step into a hip width stance, toes in line, and then you'll knock out 10 more RDL from there. So same spine and leg position as that front leg that we just used on the split stance. Now we're just loading up both hamstrings at the same time, getting as deep as we can before we have any extra knee bend and before that back starts to round out. So as deep as we can go with a flat back, squeeze your butt to stand tall. Once you've hit number 10 there, then you'll go into 10 deadlifts. You'll start just like that RDL. And then when your fists get down here to your knees, then you'll bend at your knee to get your fist to about mid shin. Stand tall, RDL, bend at the knee, stand tall. You should feel the inside of the hamstrings and the glutes load up a little bit more for that last one. Going through all three of those movements back to back to back, no resting. If you're having to rest at any point of the complex, it means that you've gone too heavy. After that, rest about 90 seconds, and then you'll go into your core complex for today. That's going to be 10 hollow body rocks to start. So on those, remember the biggest thing that we're focusing on here is using our low core to tuck our pelvis under so that it pulls towards our nose and we're using our upper core to pull those ribs down and that's what creates a bowl out of that low back. We wanna glue our toes together, point our toes because we want our legs to be long and stiff and tight. And then same thing with our arms, we wanna reach long so that we're creating tension from our fingertips down to our toes. Once we're there, small rocks, hips up, shoulders up, hips up, shoulders up. Once you've hit 10 reps, you'll go into 10 V-ups, Keep arms and legs straight on those V-ups, touch in the middle, then you'll go into 10 tuck-ups. Keep those hands off your legs, feet off the ground, and pull your knees as close to your chest as you can at the top. And then you'll finish up with a 10 second hollow body hold to finish. If you're doing good with all those movements, but you just can't quite get to 10 reps without breaking down, then maybe cut it down to eight, seven reps per movement to get you through the complex. But if you're struggling um, to hold position on any of those movements or struggling to complete any of those movements, then do this scaled version today instead. And that's going to be 12 bent knee rocks into 12 bent knee sit-ups. And then you'll finish up with a 12-second bent knee hollow hold. Shortening those levers makes it a little bit easier to hold that bowl position that we talked about. And that's how we build the foundational strength to get us up to those longer hollow positions. Four sets of each movement today. This is our performance week. So this will be the last week for these specific movements. Good luck. And uh, we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.